Well, our machine can't transform itself into a high-performance sports car or a lorry. What it can do is transform one of today's four players into a £10,000 winner. Welcome to Tipping Point. <laughs> Welcome to Tipping Point. Let's meet the four players. We're hoping to win thousands today. I'm Brian, a retired company director from Edinburgh. I'm Claire, a nurse from Manchester. I'm Anne, a museum education officer from London. And I'm Jake, an online project coordinator from Leicestershire. Good luck to you all. Let's play Tipping Points. So in round one, you each start with three counters. Questions are on the buzzer. If you buzz and give me a correct answer, you'll have a choice to make. You can either choose to play one of your counters into the machine, or if you think the machine isn't quite ready, you can get one of your opponents to play one of theirs instead. Most of the counters you get out of the machine will add £50 to your score. That includes our mystery counters, which of course come with a bonus prize. But also nestled in the machine, we do have two double counters. If one of those drops for you, it will double the entire value of your drop. And should one fall with the jackpot counter at the end of the game, you'll be leaving £20,000 richer. However, do remember, the player with the lowest score at the end of this round will leave the game with absolutely nothing. So keep an eye on those double counters, because they could make all the difference. Hands on your buzzers, come to your first question. Quebec is the largest province by area of which North American Anne? Canada. North American country, it is Canada, yes Anne. <laughs> would you like to play or would you like to pass? I'm going to pass. Are you going to pass to Brian, Claire or Jake? Um, I'm going to pass to Brian. Right then, Brian, you get to launch the machine today. OK. Where would you like to go? Drop zone four, please. Let's have drop zone four for Brian, please. Here we go. Let's see how generous the machine's going today, Brian. Rapid drop. Nice settle. Anything over the top shelf? Not just yet, no. It just splits. Those two columns of counters. So you stay with nothing in the bank and you've got two counters left to play. Okay. Here comes your next question. Singer songwriter Natalie Imbruglia was formerly an actress on which Australian TV soap set on Ramsey Street? Anne. Neighbours. It is Neighbours, yes, Anne. <laughs> Another correct answer. You're on fire. <sighs> uh, are you going to play this time? I'm going to play. Where are you going to go? Drop zone four, please. Let's do four, please. Take advantage of Brian's good work. Need it on the left. Ooh, that's Ooh, not bad. That, was, uh, that flew down. It didn't hang about, did it? There we go. Couple push, here. Push, push, push. Is the tipping point ready, though? No, it's not. So you've got two counters left. Still nothing in the bank. Next question. In 1998, scientist Joachim Zauer married future German Chancellor Angela who? Jake. Merkel. It is Merkel. Yes, well done, Jake. Uh, now, would you like to play or would you like to pass, Jake? Um, I'll play, please. Okay, where are you going to go? Uh, drop zone four, please, Ben. Drop zone four for Jake, please. Ooh, nice settle there, straight down. Can bring that double down, maybe? Yes, you can. Jake, come on, man. Get this sunny out of the machine. No, oh. it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> Sadly, deliver nothing, Jake. So you've got two counts left. Still nothing in the bank. Next question. What does the L stand for in the national governing body of British tennis known as the LT? Claire. Lawn. LTA, yes, the Lawn Tennis Association. Well done, Claire. Are you ready to play? I am. I'm going to play a drop some for. All right, five, four up for Claire, please. Not hanging around. Just a Great smooth there. finish there, Claire. Four counters this is. Got into drop zone four. Is anything going to come out yet? Oh! oh. Still <laughs> not. Unlucky. So it's a level <laughs> playing field. You've all put a count into drop zone four. No one has got anything out. We've all got two counters left. Next question. In Indian cuisine, naan and puri are... Claire. Bread. Naan and puri are examples of what foodstuff? Yes, they are types of bread, Claire. Well done. You feeling brave? I am. Let's go for four again. <laughs> Drop zone four, please. Why not? Let's see. Is this the one, Claire? This will be our fifth counter into the drop zone four. Now that rapid oh, drop. No riding. That's good. Yeah. I think it's going to go this time. 
Uh, not bad, not so bad. You get a few more 150 pounds for those three counters. Let's take that and put it into your bank. So you're up and running with 150 pounds and you've got one counter left to play. Here comes your next question. What three-letter term for a type of domestic fowl also describes a pre-wedding party typically held for the bride and her female, Claire? Hen. And her female friends, yes, hen party. You're absolutely right, Claire. Now you've got one counter left. Are you going to go for it? Why not? Yeah, All let's right. go for it. All right, drop four, please. <laughs> please be generous. Tipping point looks incredibly heavy. Oh, it's on oh, the right side. No, we don't please want to ride, ride it right now, Claire. Oh, it's, it's not. a rider. Oh. <laughs> that black count is just slightly out of position, isn't it? And that's what's caused the problem. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mine work nonetheless, and it does. Well done. <laughs> well done. Five counters cross the tipping point. Well done. 250 pounds. Didn't quite get the double, but 250 pounds nonetheless. When we put it into your bank, we'll put you way out in the lead now on 400 pounds. You have used all three counters, Claire, so for the time being, you are out. So Brian, Anne and Jake, you've all got two counters left each. Next question. Which member of the Jackson 5 went on to release the albums Invincible, Dangerous and Bad? And Michael Jackson. Yes, it was, MJ. You got that <laughs> just before the other two as well. Would you like to play or would you like to pass? I'm going to go for Drop Zone 2. Let's have the Drop Zone 2, please. Clean drop. Come on, push. Is it the right thing to do, push, Joanne? Push, push, push. Not sure. Oh. It's always tough to break a new drop zone. <laughs> and you've just set up the top shelf there, Anne, so nothing from that drop. You've got one counter left. Next question. The muscles of the human body, known as the gluteals, are often abbreviated to what six? Jake, glutes. What six letter word? Yes, it is your glutes, Jake. Uh, now then. You ready to play or would you like to pass this one? Um, I think I'm going to pass, please. You're going to pass to Brian or Anne? Um, to Anne. Oh, Anne. One more counter. You've got one last counter now. Yeah, I'm just going to go for drop zone two again, I think. Okay. All right, Anne, this could be your last well, chance. We're firing up drop zone two, please. Oh, it's a good spot. Oh, yeah. Just push, left push, it. push. Come on. Is the tipping point <laughs> ready though, Anne? I'm not sure. Oh! Nothing comes over. You're very close. You've set the tipping point up beautifully, but I'm afraid that was your third and final counter. There's nothing in the bag, so for the time being, you are out. It's just the gents that are left in. Brian, you've still got two counters, as do you, Jake. Next question, here you go. Which word describes a string of daisies linked together by their stems? Jake, chain. And a series of linked metal rings. Yeah, it is a chain, daisy chain. Now, would you like to play or would you like to pass, Jake? Um, I'll play, please. Okay, where are you going to go? Uh, drop zone two. Fire up two, please. Has Anne done enough for you here, Jake? This will be our third counter into drop zone two. Hammers down that right hand side. Uh, that's not really where I wanted it. Is it going to go? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's oh, not, oh. no. Still nothing, oh, Jake. No. So you're down to your last count now with nothing in the bank. I need to use that one very wisely. Next question for Brian and for Jake. Which Strictly Come Dancing professionals, celebrity partners include Anne Widdicombe and Judy Murray? Jake, Anton de Beck. Yes, so. Are you going to play this last count? Do you think it's I'm ready? I'm going to play, yeah. And where are you going to uh, Drop zone two, please. Fire up, drop zone two for us, please. this time for you, Jake. Come on. Is Jake going to get something finally? Getting a few here. I think it might go. He might be on for something. We need eight counters to catch Claire. Oh, oh no, no, Jake! They're not going to drop. So, Jake, you have now used all three of your counters. There's nothing in the bank. So, for the time being, you are out. Okay, Brian, it's just yeah. you left in because it's just you. Don't need to use your buzzer. Okay. You do need to give me the correct answer to both these questions to put your counters into the machine. Okay. Here we go then, Brian, your first one. Which member of the royal family was born in 1926 and has the middle names Alexandra Mary? The Queen. Absolutely right. So you get the counts to put into the machine. Uh, where would you like to put it? Drops on two, please. All right, light up two for us, please. So, Anne and Jake. Put four counters in between them. Nothing's come out. This is Are you going to harvest <laughs> all of their counter crops? 
have a yeah. like, give it a good say, a couple of mysteries on the bottom as well. Wow, two drop. Not as many as I thought, Brian. But two counters did drop for you, so you're off the mark, which is great. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank, Brian, so you're off the mark. Thank and you've you. still got one counter left to play. Good. Here we go then, Brian. In medicine, spleen omegaly is the enlargement by size or weight of what organ of the human body? The spleen? It is the spleen, yes. Where would you like to put this last counter? Uh, drop zone two again, please. All right, we're going for two again, please. Shelf doesn't look bad, the front shelf looks very generous. Is it going to go over? Oh, there's a couple here, and one more. Are you going to get the full benefit here, Brian? Yes, you are. Finally, a decent drop. Well done, Brian. Thank you. <laughs> Nine counters across the tipping points. Wow. Very smart move. £450. Let's take it and put it into your bank. That's going to put you in the lead, Brian, of £550. So as things stand, Brian has £550. Claire has £400. Both Anne and Jake have nothing in the bank. So only one of you can go through. It's back on the buzzers for the both of you. I'm going to ask you both one more question. If you buzz in and give me the correct answer, you go through to the next round. If you buzz in and give me the wrong answer, your opponent will go through to the next round. OK? Good luck, Anne. Good luck, Jake. Here comes your sudden death question. The symbol for the US dollar most closely resembles Jake S. Which letter of the alphabet with a vertical line through it? You're absolutely right, Jake. You went for it and you got it. It is the letter S. Well done. Oh. And I'm so <laughs> sorry. That means we're going to lose you. So we've come to the end of the round. It is Brian who is leading with £550. Claire is through with £400. Jake sneaks through on sudden death with nothing in the bank. And I'm so sorry, but that does mean with nothing in your bank, we have found your tipping point. Thank you so much for playing. Thank you. It's been a fantastic day. It's been lovely to meet you, Anne. So join us after the break to win today's three remaining players and win through to our head-to-head -head and a shot at our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a bit. Welcome back to Tipping Point, where Brian, Claire and Jake have all survived to play round two. In this round, they'll each have 30 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Every correct answer will give them a count to play into the machine, and as before, the player with the lowest score at the end of the round will lead the game with absolutely nothing. So, Brian, you are leading with £550. It means it's your choice. You can play first if you think the machine is ready. Alternatively, you could ask Claire or Jake to play. I think I'll play first. OK, 30 seconds for Brian, please. The time starts now. On which specific part of the body would you wear mittens? Your hands. Correct. In 2017, it was announced that footballer John Terry would be leaving which Premier League club? Chelsea. Correct. In 2000, Top Loader had a hit with the song Dancing in the What? When? Moonlight. Prosecco is a sparkling variety of which alcoholic drink? Champagne. It's wine. Natale is the Italian word for which Christian holiday? Oh. Christmas. In The Lord of the Rings, Gorbag and Shagrat belong to which evil fictional race? Orcs. They are orcs, but we're out of time, sadly, Brian. Uh, two correct answers in there. Okay. So two chances to try and get a little bit of money out of the machine. What looks good for you there, Brian? I'll go with four. Far up, drop some four for Brian, please. Drops down nicely. There we go. We've gone into three there. Slightly moved over, but there's another double that's going to get shifted. Just nudging and shoving. Nothing's dropping, Brian. So we've got one more chance here. Drops on four again. Clara yeah. drops on four for Brian. Here we go, Brian. Oh, settles, spins. He could get it. There you go. Is it going to happen? Oh, you got a few. Four counters, Brian, so £200. Finally got something from the machine. Let's take it and put it into your bank, and that's going to leave you on £750. Uh, so, Claire, we come to you. You're ahead of Jake now, so it's your choice. You could play first if you like, or you could ask Jake to go. I'll play. OK, 30 seconds for Claire, please. Your time starts now. The title of the 1989 film starring Meg Ryan is When Harry Met... Sally. Correct. In 1993, Constantino Rocca became the first Italian to play for Team Europe in which golf event? Well, not Wimbledon. The Ryder Cup. Blarney Castle and the Blarney Stone are in which Irish county? Cork. Correct. Surrounding the yolk, what is the clear viscous part of an egg called? The white. Correct. 
Alongside Phil Spencer, who presents the TV property show Location, Location, Location. Kirsty Olsar. Correct. Which currency entered circulation in Finland in 2002? Yeah, half. Missed it. <laughs> the euro. <laughs> you got four correct answers. Four counts put into the machine. And what are you looking at? Well, I'm trying to decide between one and four because there's a double there, but there's more counters in one. I'll go with four. Yeah, see if you can get that double. Fire up four, please. Seven counts to cash drive. There's four with the double. Four's been good to me in the past, so. Just set it up. Oh. Not quite gone yet, but. Few more to go. <laughs> yeah, still got a few to use. Is that in the drop zone four, Claire? Yes. Four up again, please. Four. On the right. Oh, look at that. that was a clean drop. Oh, don't ride, don't ride, don't ride. Don't want to ride it. Oh, it's flat. Oof. Okay, so now as that drives forward, see if we can take that pair out in the middle. That would be nice. There. Oh, Oof. silver one goes, they stay. Yeah. Could do it a little lateral on it. A lateral. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you got them. Well done. Three counts has dropped. 150 pounds for those three. But one of them is the double, so we can double it up and give you another 150 pounds. So that makes it 300 pounds, which is a lot tastier. We've still got two more to go as well, Claire. So next I'll go with a drop zone one. Okay, we're going to change it up. And go for drop zone one, please. Not been used yet, this one, Claire. Uh, <laughs> it's now the right time. See if I can get a mystery along the way. Around. Oh, it's going to go nice for that. Oh, yeah, it's kind of How about your tipping point, though? Oh, it looks yeah. a lot better now. It looks a lot better now. So you've got one more count to put in. You still need one count to catch Brian as well, Claire. What are you thinking? I'll go with drop zone one again. Fire up one, please. Busy rally drop. Settles on the right when he's coming over that top shelf. Yes. Oh, not bad. Not so bad. one count will catch Brian. Two will pick in the lead. It's just oh, the one. Oh. It is just the one and a very tasty looking tipping point has been left yeah. for Jake. Set that for you, Jake. 50 pounds goes in. It's 350 in total. Let's take that and put it into your bank. And you draw level with Brian on 750 oh, pounds. Head to head. Well done. <laughs> I think it's fair to say, Jake, they've left the door open for you here. 30 seconds for Jake, please. Your time starts now. The fashion week of which major US city is sometimes abbreviated to NYFW? New York. Correct. Jesse J has been a coach on both the UK and the Australia. Boys. Correct. Which American poet and civil rights activist wrote the 1978 poem Phenomenal Woman? Us. Maya Angelou. A Levantine viper is a species of what type of limbless reptile? A uh, snake. Correct. The River Liffey flows through the center of which Irish capital city? Uh, Dublin. Correct. The renal papillae are found in which organs of the human body? Kidney. Correct. In the Queen's 2016 birthday honours list, single Rod Stewart received which award? And being knighthood. They knighted him. Sir Rodney Stewart. Jake, five correct answers. Cool. So five chances to try and close this gap. You need 15 counters to catch Claire and Brian. What are you thinking there, Jake? OK, I think I'm going to go with one first. See what I can do. Yeah, OK. Drop zone one, please. Five, drop zone one, please. Claire just battered drop zone one. I only got one out, so there should be plenty for you. A couple of mysteries as well. Slides and settles nicely. Come on. Give me something. Yeah. Just one coin. Let's see if we can get these counters here, Jake. Gonna get close. Nice start, really nice start. Five across the tipping point. Which is 250 pounds. Really good start. Okay, four more counters to put in. There's a little cluster on the right side of three, so I'm going to go drop zone three. Okay, let's try drop zone three, please. Just ten counts we need now. That double's getting close, which could be crucial. Oh, she's got the left side. Still doesn't look bad, does it? It looks okay. Can get something over. Oh, yes. Two and three there. <laughs> Is it going to go? Oh, Jake. Jake, you need 10 to catch Claire and Brian. That's 12 across the tipping point. That's put you in the lead. Awesome. Another 600 pounds takes you to 850 pounds. Three more counts to go. Where next? I'm going to go two, please. Drop zone, drop zone two. two. Light it up, please. You can get them down that left-hand side of drop zone two. Maybe not this 
time. Oh, sorry. There's a bit of a gap there as well, isn't there? That you yeah, might just slide into. Like it. Okay, so nothing that's there. Good. Still got two more to go there, Jake. Uh, drop zone two again, please. Two again, please. Oh, that's better. That's where I wanted it. Will that's they drop for you, Jake? You're just a hundred pounds ahead of Brian and Claire. Still need some to sort of extend your lead. There we go. Three counters drop. 150 pounds. Let's add that in. Extend your lead now. You have a thousand pounds. One of them is our mystery prize as well. You've won a flight simulator experience courtesy of virtual aerospace. Brilliant. Thank you. It should be great. And we've got one more count to put in there, Jake. What do you fancy doing with this one? Um, still on that cluster on the right of three, so mm. I'm going to go back to drop zone three. Okay, fire up three, please. It's on the right hand side. Yeah, that's good. Is it going to go? There we go. Oh. Anything here? Are they going to get that cluster? Oh, he just nudged so it forward. It. They're going to live to fight another drop. But you know what, Jake? You'd smashed it previously with your other counters. And that's a thousand pounds we can take from the machine. Let's put it into your bank. Thank you. And that puts you in the lead. And indeed, it puts you through to the head to head. Uh, Claire and Brian, you both have 750 pounds. Only one of you can join Jake. So it's back on the buzzers for the two of you. Okay. It's going to be sudden death. I'm going to ask you both one more question. If you buzz and give me the correct answer, you join Jake in the next round. Best of luck to both of you. Here comes your sudden death question. In the classic fairy tale, Goldilocks encounters three of what? Claire. Bear. Three of what kind of animal? You got there first, of course, it's the three bears. You just beat you to it, Brian. Yeah, yeah, I'm afraid that means we're going to lose you. Uh, so we have come to the end of the round. I want to turn around for Jake. He is now leading with £1,000. Claire sneaks through on sudden death with £750. Brian, I'm afraid that means with £750. You gave it a great shot, but we have found your tipping point. Thank you so much for playing. I've had a great day, Ben. Thanks very much again. Our pleasure. Lovely to meet you, Brian. So it is Jake and Claire who will be going head to head after the break for the right to play for our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a couple of minutes. Welcome back to Tipping Point. Just two players remain, Claire and Jake. Very well done to both of you for getting this far. Uh, we're about to find out which one of you we're taking on the machine for our jackpot today. In this round, you're each going to be asked three questions alternately. On your question, you can choose to answer or you can pass it to your opponent. If you give me a correct answer, you put the counter into the machine. Whoever has the most money at the end of this round will be today's winner and will be playing for our jackpot. As you are now leading, Jake, uh, you get to choose. Uh, would you like to play first or would you like to offer the first question to Claire? I think I'll play first, please. Okay, first question for you then, Jake. What was the name of the colourless variety of Pepsi that was launched in the early 1990s? Now you can play this or you can pass it to Claire. I think I'll pass. You're going to pass, pass it over. It. Pass right, it Claire. I'm going to guess Pepsi Clear. Pepsi Clear, okay. Let's find out. Is the answer Pepsi Clear? It's not Pepsi Clear. It was called Crystal Pepsi. Claire, you gave it a good shot, but I'm afraid you're wrong. So, Jake, you get the counter. Uh, can I go for drop zone three, please? Of course you can. Fire up drop zone three, please. Oh, That's all that one You never know when the next might fly. Yeah. I'm gonna go try. There. Oh, good. Let's see. And Near the, the double, double going to go. Near the double. No, it's close. So nothing goes here, Claire. Great chance for you now. Time for your first question. Who was the president of France directly before Emmanuel Macron? I'm going to have to pass because it's just not coming to me in my head. So, Jake, this one's on you. <laughs> right, Jake. <laughs> what are your thoughts? It. Is it uh, Francois Hollande? Francois Hollande. The president of France directly before Emmanuel Macron. Was it Francois Hollande? Yes, it was. Great steal, that. Really good answer. You get the counter. Where are you going to go? Uh, I'll go stick with drop zone three, please. Yeah, let's do it. Bar up three, please. There's a lot of money on the tipping point. That double's getting close as well. That's about settled. Who's that going to get anything over? I don't know whether it's getting over the top shelf. Come on. Yes, it does. It could be good. It could be very good. Come 
It is fantastic. That's a cracking steal. Ten counts across the tipping point, which is five hundred pounds. But of course, one of them is that double that you are both hunting. So we can double it up and give you another five hundred pounds, and that dramatically alters the game. Let's take a thousand pounds. Put it into your bank, it doubles your score. Put you on £2,000. Jake, you do keep control as well. Time for your second question. Released in 2006, The Ugly Duckling and Me is an animated film based on a story by which Danish author? Um, I think I know. You can't pass it. No, I'll, I'll, I'll play. You're going to go for it? Okay. Is it Hans Christian Andersen? Let's see if you're right. Is the answer Hans Christian Andersen? Yes, it is. Well done. Uh, Jake, you got the counter, so you put it into the machine. I'll go for drop zone four, please, Ben. Drop zone four for Jake. Head on that left. Hand yeah, side. there's all the actions down the left between three and four, isn't it? Just about there would be nice. Yeah. Really clean, direct drop. Oh, Ooh. it's just going to get that one, isn't it? Might wriggle free here. It's going to slowly work its way away from that black counter on top. Oh. Just keep an eye on it there, Jake. Oh, that's pretty steady. I think it's going to stay there. So no damage done there, Claire. Oh, a little ambient drop. It did eventually fall. It's just sitting on the bottom shelf. It's not going to do anything. Here we go, Claire. Time for your second question. Oh, OK. The city of Bath is located in which historic county South West England. I'm going to play this one. Right. I'm going to go with Somerset. You're going to go with Somerset. All right. Yeah. Jake, what would you have said? I, I would have said either Somerset or, or Devon or something. Or, 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 I'm not entirely sure. Jake wasn't sure, Claire. Have you made the right decision? Is the answer Somerset? Yes! Oh. <laughs> well done. Do you get the counter? Where are you going to go? Um, you're quite far ahead now, so I might go for a mystery now. So I'm yeah. going to go with Drop Zone 2, please, okay. Ben. Drop Zone 2, please. Get out of it. Oh. Good, right behind it. Might get a cheeky bow for magic. Yeah. <laughs> Come on now. Oh, nice oh, broad shot. That's so bad. Oh. Is it going to go? Oh, it's a oh, oh, <laughs> in the machine. But you did get two counts, Claire. £100 across the tipping point. Let's take that and put it in your bank. It's going to put you on £850. Control passes back to you, Jake. Time for your third question. In 2001, boxer Hassim Rahman caused a major upset by knocking out which British world heavyweight champion? There was only one heavyweight boxer around that time when I was watching boxing. I'll, I'll, I'll play. OK. Uh, I'll go for Lennox Lewis. You're going with Lennox Lewis. Let's see, Jake, if you've got the right boxer. Is the answer Lennox Lewis? Yes, it is. Really good answer. Well done. Uh, now, what do you think, Jake? I'll, I'll go for drop zone two. Please. OK, drop zone two for Jake. Big hole in the top shelf there. Stay away from that. He needs to be on the left to try and get that mystery out. <laughs> fill in the gap there. Nothing, just fills the hole. So nothing for that one, Jake. So Claire, we come back to you. Time for your third and final question. In 2017, which handheld device used frequently in the TV series Doctor Who was added to the Oxford English Dictionary? I was thinking like a phone of some sort, a control pad, but I can't think of anything like Doctor Who we found in. <laughs> so I'm going to have to pass over to you and hope that you don't know it. Jake? Oh, is it the sonic screwdriver? Sonic screwdriver. Does that ring any bells, Claire? I've never heard of it. So You've never heard of it? I wouldn't have. No. <laughs> Too right. Let's find out, Jake. Is the answer the sonic screwdriver? Yeah, of course well it is. Well done, Jake. Very well done. You are today's winner. Congratulations to you. Thank Claire, you. it's been so much fun. I'm afraid we will lose you at the end All of the right. round, though. Uh, one more counter for you here, Jake. I think I'll go drop zone two, please. Yeah, OK. All right, drop zone two, please. Oh, no. Still can't get it's it over there again. for the prize. Yeah. Not to worry. It's going to get you a little bit more money. Now it's about getting that bank of yours up. Oh, 
Oh. Nothing wants to go. So the scores stay as they were uh, with £2,000. Congratulations, Jake. You've played a great game Thank in your today's winner. Well done to you. Uh, Claire, I am so sorry. It has been it's really okay. good fun. But I'm afraid with £850, we have found your point. Thank you so much for playing. Thanks for a great okay. day. It's been great to meet you, Claire. So, Jake, in a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put our jackpot counter into the machine. This one's a little bit bigger than all the others, but it is so much better. Because if you can get this one out, you're going to be going home with £10,000. Can Jake master the machine by finding his jackpot tipping point? Find out after the break. Welcome back to the final part of Tipping Point. Jake is our winner today and currently has £2,000. Very well done, Jake. Thank you. You battled back very hard from that first round. Yeah. And here you are, about to take on the machine for our jackpot. If we were to get the jackpot counter out, what do you think you'd like to do with the money? Um, well, when I first met my girlfriend, um, we uh, sort of had a bit of a joke about um, climbing Everest. Um, so, um, what I would like to do if I won the money um, was uh, get flights and accommodation out to Nepal and um, climb to uh, Everest Base Camp. Goodness me. And that would be some adventure, Jake. So, fingers crossed we can get it. Thank you. And he can send us a postcard from the bottom of Everest. Will do. Time to find out whether Jake's going to win our £10,000 jackpot in a few moments. I'm going to ask you to put the jackpot counter into the machine. Sure. If you want to go home with £10,000, just get it out again, Jake. Here's how you're going to do it. I'm going to show you six question categories. For each category, you can choose to play one, two, or three counts into the machine. The more counts you play for, the harder the question's going to be. The more counts you win, the easier it should be to get the jackpot counter out. All right? So, where would you like to put the jackpot counter? Um, I was toying between one and four, mm -hmm. but one's got a mystery in it, so I'm going to go for one, please. Okay, drop some one, please. Still very full of money as well, so we can collect a lot as we go. When you're ready. Okay, slap bang in the middle. In the middle. Okay. Let's see where we end up. The jackpot counter here. That's a lot of money on that bottom shelf. Might get a bit. First time out. Oh, that'll just, just settle themselves. We're nice and flat. Middle of drop zone one, and you've got that mystery counter. We can slowly work forward as well. Okay, let's have a look at your end game subjects, Jake. This is what we've got food and drink, American TV, human body, history, film, and sport. You can play them in any order you like. Okay. So when you're ready, where do you want to start? For how many? Um, I think I'll go top to bottom. Okay. So I'll start with food and drink, please. Okay, food and drink, how many? Uh, three. Food and drink, three counters to get started, please. Originally brewed by monks, the beer Lef originates from which European country? Belgium, France or Switzerland? Um, before the answers came up, I thought it was Belgium. Because Lef is quite a, a, a light, it's like a blonde beer. Mm -hmm. and they, they originate from Belgium, I think. So, uh, I'll go Belgium. Okay, we're going to go with Belgium, please. The beer Lef, does it originate in Belgium? Yeah, that's well done. Cool. Thank you. Lovely start. Three counters. Drop zone one. Drop zone one, please. Fire it up, please. Oh, just to the side of it. If we get a little squeeze, it's yeah. going to be quite heavy, isn't it? So yeah. There you go. That is, that's very much. Oh. And that, is it going to stay? Is it going to go? Oh. Ah. Too deep, sadly. So nothing from those two. Uh, two more to go, though. Drop someone again. Yes, please. Yeah. Fire it up, please. Fraction over to the left. Okay, stop. That's a bit better, I think. Yeah, I think it might just slide past it again, though. A little squeeze on it. Roll it forward. That's nice. Take a bit of the weight out. We'll push as well. Come on. Oh, yes. Nice. Nicely done. Seven counters, so we can put £350 in. That's a nice drop. Up to 2350 One more to put in. Drop zone one, please. One up, please. It's filling that top shelf now, mm. looking a bit bare. There you go. There you go, right behind it. So right nudge it. I might go now. Go Just over and set it up, I think. There you go, edge of the top shelf. Nicely done. So we've got some lovely movement on the jackpot counter, and we've got a bit of money as well. Let's go back to the categories. Heading down the list, American TV. Uh, for three, please. American TV for three counters this time, please. First broadcast in 1974, in which American sitcom was much of the action set in a diner called Arnold's? I Love Lucy, Happy Days or Cheers? I think Cheers was set in a bar, not a diner. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's I Love Lucy. I've not heard of that before. Um... 
think I'll go for Happy Days. Happy Days? This is a guess, but I'll okay. go for Happy Days. We can learn Happy Days, please. Is the answer Happy Days? Yeah! With the Fonz. Henry yeah. Winkler. Oh, the Fonz, okay, yeah. Three counters. Well done. Okay. Jump someone again. Yes, please. Power yeah. it up. Okay, push more counters over. Yeah, we can shift some of that weight there. There's a nice stack. Nudges the jackpot over. Could take a few here. Yeah. Little double shove. Keeps on going in. Nice drop. Seven counters again. 350 pounds. So the money steams up to 2,700 pounds. Two more to go. Yeah, uh, drop some more, please. One up, please. There you go, strong. Very slow one. That's nice if it stays on the jackpot. It. Roll it forward, roll it forward. Oh, it's just got caught under the mystery yeah. now, hasn't it? Oh, oh there you go. Oh, okay. Six counts is dropping. Let's put 300 pounds in for those six. Takes to 3,000 pounds. Uh, you also got yourself another mystery prize. Uh, you've won a city break to Madrid. Oh, go to Brilliant. And it's all. Fantastic. And we've got one more to put in. Drop zone one, please. One up, please. Do we get in that mystery down? Yeah. It's just sort of impeding the jackpot a bit. Oh, right. I separate round them. That silver one, get a little bit. It does do that, doesn't it? Okay. okay. Lines it up right behind the jackpot counter, which is great. Back to the categories. Human body's next as we go down, Jake. Uh, for three, please. Human body for three. Visalgia is the medical term for which of the following? A toothache, a common cold, or a hangover? Um, I don't think it's common cold. I'm going to rule out toothache as well. I think I'll go for I'll go for a hangover. If you want it out, why not? Yeah, sure. We're going with hangover. Visalgia. Is that the medical term for a hangover? Yes, it is. Brilliant. Well done. You worked out fantastically. Three counters. Drop some one. Yes, please. Slide it up. Further over. We can get that mystery over. Settle in. No, no, no. no not quite. Oh. Could take that little clump that's on the tipping point. Nudge them here and there. Okay. okay. Nothing yes, one. Two more. Okay, uh, drop some on, please. One up, please. Gap, isn't it? Quite a hectic drop, that one. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we're getting closer. Just think that we definitely need to tell that mystery yeah, down, don't we? Cool. Okay, one more. Okay. Uh, drop zone one, please. One up, please. Get it on that silver counter right behind the mystery. Separate that away from the jackpot counter. If we can. Yeah, Ooh, actually, that might sneak the jackpot through. I think it might just get caught, though. That's okay, it's okay. Now separate away. We're down, we're down. Nice drop as well. Oh. Eight counters, including the one that jumped out of the machine. It's 400 pounds. The money goes up very nicely again. 3,500 pounds, we're on the bottom shelf too. Back to the categories. Halfway, history's next. Uh, for three, please. History for three. What was the nickname of the 1913 act passed in an attempt to deal with hunger-striking suffragettes? Bim and Tucker, Bells and Whistles, Cat and Mouse. I think I'll go for Cat and Mouse, please. Yeah? For no particular reason, it's just another guess. Okay, yeah. we'll go with Cat and Mouse, please. Is the answer Cat and Mouse? It was? Okay. Fantastic stuff. Well done. Three counters here. Drop some one? Yes, please. Light it up. Let's go for it. Just want this in the middle somewhere if possible. One. Just uh, that. Okay. Work. Then they might drop and slide under yeah, the mystery. Let's see. It depends how low they are. There you go, like that. Touch right. Oh, sorry. Two counts drop in. Hundred pounds. It takes three thousand five hundred pounds. Two to go. Uh, one, please. Drop some one, please. Yeah. Get over, get over, get over. Now, I 
think that might slip. You might be all right. Because there's nothing else there. They'll both move. They'll both move closely. Now you slide right behind it. A little touch there. And squeeze. Go on. Oh, I just went straight past it. 50 pounds yeah. goes in, though. Takes the 3,550, Jake. We're getting closer. Yeah. One more to go. Uh, drop zone one, please. One up, please. Just one over to the right. Mm. Just to the middle right would be nice. Come on, get over. There you go. There it is. That's the one. It's going to come right at it, Jake. Just drop down. Just straighten up. Go, 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 go. Come on. Push. We're going to get close. We're going to get close. Okay. Two counters drop in, Jake. 100 pounds. Let's put it up. 3,650 pounds. A lovely amount of money. Let's go back to the categories. These are both probably the strongest subjects for me, so I'll probably get them both wrong. <laughs> but uh, I'll go film for three, please. Okay. Film for three counters, please. The 2014 film Unbroken, which tells the story of war hero Louis Zamperini, was directed by which Hollywood star? Barbara Streisand, Angelina Jolie, or Jodie Foster? Uh, don't even have to think about that one. That's uh, Angelina Jolie. Comfort about this one? Yeah. Okay. Angelina Jolie, please. Was the answer Angelina Jolie? Yes, it was. Well done. Yeah. Three counters. You're giving yourself a chance here. We only need one in the right place, Jake. Okay, drop zone one, please. One up, please. Okay. Not quite far enough, I don't think, is it? Not quite there. Might slide the mystery round a touch. Could we get a bit of lateral on it? If that moves to the left a bit, squeeze there. Stay there. Two pounds, drop it in. Next to 3,700 pounds in the machine. Still got two more to go. Sure. Drop zone one again. Yes, please. Slide it up. Let's go for it. See exactly where it's got to land, Jake. Yeah. Third one. Stick it in the mixer. Get it on the money. Oh. 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 Just roll across. Oh. It's going to be torturous now. There's a couple on the edge we can collect. Yeah. On the bank. Another hundred pounds. Three thousand eight hundred pounds. The money continues to go up. One more to go. Uh, drop zone one, please. One, please. Come on now, Jay. Make it easy. Oh, is that too far? Oh. Which way is it going to go? Oh, it's come back a touch. Come on. Is it going to go? Is it going to go? On. Yes. Come on, Jake. Come on. Is this your ten thousand pounds and your hat trick of oh, prizes? Just... Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, it's so close. How did that not go? <laughs> So I'm afraid we're going to have to go back and ask another question and you're going to have to give me another correct answer. Sure. Sports? Yeah. For three? For three, please, yeah. Just go for it. Sports? For three counters, please. Which English horse racing venue has the largest crowd capacity? Epsom, Cheltenham or Ascot? Ascot is the Grand National, I think, which would dictate that it should be the biggest, for the biggest crowd. I really, really don't know, though. Really don't know. Um, I think I'll plumb for Ascot, please. Ascot? Yep. We're going with Let's Ascot, go please. Yes. Let's find out. Is the answer Ascot? Oh! Do you know it's Epsom? Epsom. Okay. Aintree is where the Grand National Aintree, is held, of yeah. course. Finally, we stumbled, Jake. So we're out of questions and we're out of categories. Yeah. But it's not over. I'm going to offer you one last chance to leave today with £10,000. As things stand, you've got £3,800. You can walk away with that money right now or you can trade it for three final counters to put into the machine in the hope of getting that jackpot counter out. If you decide to take the trade, nothing else has any value. So you leave with £10,000 or you leave with nothing else. Okay. Right. So, would three counts be enough? I'm really tempted, but I said to myself beforehand, if I had the opportunity to trade, I wouldn't, no matter how close it is, because, uh, you know, that, that 3800 is going to go a long, long way. So... Um, I think I'm going to stick with money. Okay. Yeah. I'll ask you one last time. Would you like to take the money or would you like to take the trade? I'll take the money, please. Well done, mate. Yeah. Congratulations. Like you say, £3,800 is a lovely amount of money. Yeah. It'll get you and the girlfriend to every space camp. Yeah, definitely. Big question is, and there will be millions of people at home going, take the trade. Take the trade, yeah, I know. That right. is so close. Okay. Would three counts have been enough? Shot one. Jackpot counters going nowhere. Drop two. Hey, 
AG is the jackpot counter forward. This was the third and final drop. I think you've done the right thing. It depends. It could. I mean, here's that flat counter. Yeah, it could. It could still go. A bit of lateral on it. Could still go. All the way from there. No, it didn't go. It didn't go. I can't believe it didn't oh, go. Thank God for that. Jake, how are you feeling now? I feel so much better. I feel so much better. <laughs> Your instincts were bang on the money and you made the right decision. You're going back with £3,800. You've won your flight to the simulator experience and, of course, your city break to Madrid. I say it's been a pretty good day. It's been a fantastic day. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Amazing. Amazing. Great job. Well done. Thanks Congratulations. So Thank really you. great. So there you go. Jake's leaving with £3,800. He practically cleaned us out of prizes. But I can't believe he didn't take the trade. He made the right decision, though, because if he had, he would have just lost everything because the jackpot counter didn't drop. Can you believe it? Join us next time when the fate of former players will hang in the balance on Timmy Point. Goodbye. <laughs>